Ooh, y'all see what it is, man. Y'all see what I'm doing. We in the DSLR quality now, huh? Yes, sir. Nice and crisp. Yes, sir. Look. Autofocus don't want to help me out today. Don't worry, guys. I know. I know. I'm about to get a haircut tomorrow, bro. So chill on me. Don't even roast me right now. Please. What's goody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's staying safe. Y'all been keeping mask on. Fucking mask on. Future, please stop. Don't lead the people astray. Keep your mask on. Hope y'all caught episode one. If you didn't, click that right there. We'll put the card on the screen. Click episode one of this series on how to get better. It's about the settings. It's gonna be episode one. Once you got past that, hop onto this video as well. If you already passed the settings, you already know what you're doing. Don't need that. Here's episode two. We're gonna jump straight into it. It's gonna be way quicker than the first one. The first one had to go into death, fully explain everything so you guys could get the gist of it. So today we're talking about centering and strafing and winning more gunfights. Basically how you can improve your gun skill. All right, without wasting any time, we're about to hop right into it. Let me let me fix my volume real quick so I ain't blowing my eardrums out. Once you guys got your sensitivity and everything set up, we're gonna get, I know y'all want the classes. I'll give y'all the classes soon. All right, let me get, let me take care of this stuff. You know, once you guys have all your skills together and then y'all get the classes, y'all already know what to do. So first thing I wanna talk about is centering, okay? If you guys don't know what centering is, you see the crosshairs on your screen, right? The crosshairs basically shows where you're aiming at, all right? This freaking guy, look at this bot. The crosshairs show where you're aiming at, all right? So this is where exactly where I'm aiming. If I shoot, that's where my bullet is going. Obviously hip firing is a little inaccurate, but that's basically where my, my shot is going, right? You guys know that. I don't really have to explain that to you, okay? So centering is basically everywhere you're going, you want to have your crosshairs. You have, wanna have your aim where you think people are gonna be, all right? So if I'm coming through this door, my aim is centering right here. I'm centering to this doorway, I'm coming up the stairs. I have my aim centered right here. I have my aim here, you know? So everywhere I'm running to, I'm keeping my, my aim basically where someone's gonna be coming from, see? That's why it looks like, even with the low sensitivity, some of these pro players are snapping like crazy. You know, it looks like they're just snapping onto somebody. They're not turning super slow trying to get on target, okay? I'm already where he is. I'm snapping on him because my aim is already basically, you know, centering to where I'm thinking somebody's gonna go. So I come out here, you know, boom. Obviously you can't anticipate every single situation. You don't know where everybody is at all times, but you can, the more you play, you can do your best to know, you know, where people are coming from. So if I'm coming through this door, you know, centering, you know, I'm centering back here, centering back here, centering back there. I'm thinking they're going to spawn there. There's going to be a guy at this Jeep. I'm centering here, you know? So that's basically what centering is. It's, it's keeping you, it's putting your aim where you think people are going to be, or at least, you know, somewhere close to where someone's going to be. Then the aim assist and your shot can, you know, take care of the rest. Second thing you want to learn is strafing. Okay. It's just as important as centering. Also, one more thing that I didn't mention. With centering, um, you know, the more you play, you want to collect data. You want to think about like where people are coming from, where people are challenging you, where you end up dying the most, where you end up killing people the most, like where you're always in, in gunfights and engagements. So I, I know that, you know, and learn the spawns too, but that'll be a separate video about like IQ and map awareness. I'm gonna do a whole video about that as well. You guys gonna get all the sauce. I'm gonna split everything up and break it down. Once you start to learn where people are gonna come from and, and things like that, it's gonna be easier to center your aim and always be ready for the gunfight. So on top of centering, in order to be able to center well and keep your aim on target, let me kill myself. You wanna pair centering up with, with strafing. Those two go hand in hand. Strafing and centering are, are, are both hand in hand. They, they go together. You can't do one without the other. Strafing is basically moving side to side with your left stick, right? That's strafing. This is strafing right here. All right, you can go forward, backwards, go in a circle, left, right. That's strafing. Strafing is what you wanna do to keep your aim on target, to like help you compensate and like stay accurate, okay? So when I run through here, right, I come to this doorway, I'm strafing a little bit. I'm coming this way. I think a guy's gonna be on this Jeep on the other side of this wall, the Jeep in the corner of the map here. I'm not going to 
run up like this. That's gonna be stupid. I'm going to strafe, you know, so I'm gonna sidestep, you know, over it this way. So that way, you know, I'm getting myself centered, okay? So you wanna strafe while centering, all right? So I'm coming in here, looking this way, I'm strafing, I'm sidestepping this way, I'm sidestepping. All right, you're not just running forward like this. This is gonna make you look like a bot. Just running, you know, just running. You know, this is bad, very terrible movement and centering. Look, this is not gonna help you center at all. Just running and keeping your left stick forward and turning your right stick, that's gonna, this is why people can tell the difference between, you know, somebody who knows what they're doing and not, okay? So you wanna sidestep. I'm coming in here, I'm sidestepping a little bit. I'm sidestepping this way, you know? Sidestepping, strafing, strafing this way, okay? Strafing into this doorway. I'm not running in and turning like this. That's, you know, that's gonna get you killed. You wanna make sure you're sidestepping. That way you can center, you know? Get locked onto the doorway like this. You see this? You have to see all the stuff I'm doing on the video. So I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a clear difference, you know, between you know, do this, that's, you know, just running around like that versus, you know, sidestepping, you know, you don't want to just keep constantly sprinting forward. You want to sprint a little bit, strafe a little bit, sidestep, center, you know, run, sidestep, run a little bit, so, you know, so when you see people like better players play, they're not just constantly sprinting into everything. They're, they're running, stopping a little bit, strafing a little bit to the side. That's, you know, this is how you keep it centered, like that. So I don't have to miss too many bullets. I don't have to do too much to get on target. Also, you know, pre-aim a lot, guys. Pre-aim a lot, you know. On top of centering and strafing, pre-aim a lot. We'll get to that in a second, but one, one more thing I want to touch on with strafing. Not only is it helping you center, but also is helping you aim, okay? So... When you're in a gunfight, you're aiming down your sights and you're shooting like this, right? I'm not moving my right stick with my thumb too much, okay? I'm not moving my right stick like crazy. I'm doing little twitches, little fine adjustments. I'm not going like this, okay? Most of your move, your aiming, you wanna do while strafing, okay? That's helps you like keep, stay on target. So if I aim in and I'm strafing, right? This is how I'm moving my aim on target, okay? It's way better than going like this. This is going to get you killed, okay? Look how look how I stay on target on an enemy without even touching my right stick. Let me see. Look at that. With strafing, I'm literally staying on him. You just take your right stick and, and do the little adjustments to do the rest, okay? Right here. I'm not touching my right stick at all. Look how much I'm staying basically on target. See that? See that, guys? See how it's pulling me, like keeping me... I'm barely moving. You're doing that with your left stick. Also keeps you from getting shot at so much. So I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna let him kill me and then you guys are gonna see the kill cam. Look how much movement I do that he, that a real player would have to follow. Obviously it's a bot. They have like AI con aim control. In a real situation, all of that strafing and moving, it makes somebody has to follow you and track you down and, and you know, it's gonna make it harder for someone to kill you if you just, you know, uh, doing like this. Let me show you guys the difference when I just use my right stick to aim at somebody and don't use my left stick to strafe. Okay, so obviously like I have great aim control. Stop the cap. <laughs> so you wanna use your left stick to like adjust you and snap you on and get you on to where you wanna be at. And then use your right stick to make little adjustments, you know. If you're going to the left, obviously you're going to, you know, use your right stick. You see how on target I am? So use your left and right stick at the same time to keep yourself, you know, steady and, and aimed in and locked on. You know, you can make longer shots like this. This guy is all the way over there, right? This is strafing, right? This is my normal gun skill, right? Now watch what it looks like when I don't use my left stick to strafe. See, see how my aim is just all over the place, guys? It's harder to like 
you know. Now if I'm strafing with this, right? Watch this. See, so didn't even hit him once. Cause I didn't even strafe to center. Now watch when I strafe into somebody. That's it. See how how much more uh, you know on target I am. Now if you're shooting against somebody who has movement and can shoot back, you're gonna be all over the place, guys. If you're not, you know, centering and strafing your your while, while shooting. Look at this. Look at that. I'm all over the place, and that's not even exaggerating. That's just me trying to shoot. So now, make sure you guys practice that. Play against some bots. Learn your strafing. Learn your centering. You know, snapping onto stuff. Snapping here. Snapping here. I'm using my left stick, right, to go to the... I'm using my, my left stick to, to move to the right, while I'm using my right stick to move to the left, uh, to, to turn to the left. So, you know, things like this. This is how you stay steady like that, you see? See how on target I am? Just like that, staying on target. That's basically how people are snapping on in Call of Duty. See, just like that, my centering, my strafing. Now the third thing on top of the centering, strafing that you want to learn with your gun is recoil control, guys. With longer shots, you want to control your recoil. So every gun has a different recoil pattern. Some more than others, some less than others. And it really depends on, you know, your attachments or whatnot, but you're never going to have a no recoil gun. For example, if I take this MP5, right, and I don't touch my right stick, I just spray it. Look at this bullet pattern, guys. Okay? The gun just goes straight up, a little bit to the left, but mostly straight up. Okay? That's going to push your aim all the way up, and you're going to miss, completely miss your... Look how far up I went. Now, if the guy is right here, and I'm shooting all the way up here, I'm missing. I'm dead. So, what you want to do is, you know, get it, get in the habit of using, you know, learning the gun that you're using, and get in the habit of slowly pulling your aim down, going like this. You know, slowly, not all over the place, not fully, not too crazy, but slowly just get in your head when you're in a gunfight, you're about to shoot to slowly start pulling your stick down. So watch the difference, guys, right? This is me without controlling my recoil, just holding it down. I'm not even touching the right stick, right? This is regular. Now watch me when I control my recoil. See how everything is in this little pocket here versus all of this. This is controlling it, slowly pulling it down, and this. Obviously, some guns have a little more than just a straight up recoil. Some have, you know, up to the right, up to the left. But that's up to you to learn, you know, the, the difference in the, the recoil pattern of the gun you're using. And obviously, the attachments make a difference. You just have to look at all of that stuff and, and take that in and then learn the you know the pattern of, of what's going on if it's going up to the right you want to go down to the left you know just the opposite of the recoil but mostly you want to make sure you're you're going down no matter what gun you're using if you don't want to learn the pattern at least keep your gun from going all the way up because that's just going to make you miss okay so at least control it keep it like down center like that and the last thing you want to get in the habit of doing to win more gunfights and work on your gun skill is pre-aiming so Along with centering, along with strafing, right? Along with controlling your recoil, you want to get in the habit of, of, of pre-aiming, you know? Even if it's for half a second, you know, even if it's, you know, you're sitting there holding it, you know, depending on your play style, if you're pushing aggressive, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys want to learn how to get more aggressive and move around the map more. So, so wherever you're centering, I always like to, you know, if you go watch me play a lot, you'll see me do stuff like this. I run. You know, pre-aim just just for the habit of it. You know, it just gives. It's just a good habit of practice. You're running. You know, if you want to get somewhere fast, obviously, you know, just check that real quick. You know, people you like to come this way. People are gonna spawn that way. You know, obviously, you're going into yellow house. You want to pre-aim that. You know, wherever you think people are gonna come from. Things like that. The movement is gonna help as well. We're gonna have a whole nother episode about movement and working on your movement and being fast and, and looking super cracked out on the games. People think you're just, just pro with it. But yeah, pre-aim a lot, guys. Just get in the habit of pre-aiming with your centering. It's gonna make you just kill people way faster. You're gonna be ready for the gunfight. You know, you're not gonna have to do too much adjusting. And I'll just run like this. I'll run a couple feet, pre-aim, you know. Stuff like that. You know, get in the habit of doing stuff like that. You know people are gonna spawn back here and come through this door. 
get in that habit of coming around the corner, centering and pre-aiming like that. You see how on target I, I already am? Somebody comes around the corner, you're already pre-aimed and centered. That just makes it, gives them no chance to kill you at all. It takes away, look, it's like that. Think he would have had time to really react if that was a real person? Those tips are gonna like immediately improve your gun skill. Trust me, look, see how fast? They're not even gonna know what happened, guys. You you combine those things, you're gonna immediately improve with your gun skill. Win more gunfights, you're gonna see your kill kill go up. Like, uh, this is not BS. This stuff really like makes a difference. You know what I mean? Especially when you have all your settings and your sensitivity on point. This stuff is really gonna get you like, Look at that. And one last thing, when you're shooting at people, aim for the chest and up. Aim for the chest and up. The damage matters. When you're shooting at the legs like this, that that takes so much longer. Look at it, shooting real low. That takes so long, look at that. See how, see how much faster it is aiming for the head and, and the chest? The damage really matters depending on where you're aiming in this game. So to recap, guys, to recap, to sum everything up, all right? This was a quicker video than the last one. You want to remember, centering, getting your aim where you think people are gonna be, all right? Get your aim in the middle of the doorway, in the middle of the hallway, right here, centering, centering out here, centering out here, centering out here, centering this way. Look, it looks like I'm snapping onto them, but I'm really just anticipating where they're gonna be, you know? Second, strafing, strafing in gunfights. It helps you move your aim and keep it basically on target. It helps you move your aim a lot easier. You know, see that? I'm not missing. I literally just got on too. I didn't play at all today. I literally got on to record this video and go in a private match. There's like no room for error once you start working on those, those skills. Third thing, recoil control. Keep your gun from going up. I shoot this guy here and I'm not controlling my recoil. Look, I'm above his head. Look where my dot is above his head center strafe control your recoil aim for center mass or the head you know aim higher look how fast he just died i'm able to shoot so far and can and stay close to the target with a submachine gun because i'm controlling my recoil i'm strafing i'm centering and i'm aiming center mass you know So yeah, like I said, once again, use your left stick to adjust your aim more than your right stick. You don't want to move your right stick too much to, to move to, to adjust your aim. You want to put it all on the left, mostly on the left stick. 70% of your aim should be on the left stick. 30% should be on the right stick. Guys, y'all know what it is. That's going to be the end of the video. Let me get out of here real quick so y'all can hear me. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Please take those tips in. These are real life tips. I've been doing this for years. I've been shooting like this for years. This is... All the pros will tell you this. Look at this. Beamers. If you want to have a beamer shot like this, strafing is so important. All right, strafing is so important in this in this game because the gunfights are longer. They're, they're more movement. They're faster. It's not like Modern Warfare where you just kill somebody in two bullets and it's over with. You got to do more of strafing and stuff like that. There are also attachments that will allow you to strafe faster and look at your and um, speed up your aim walking movement speed and your shooting move speed. Look into those attachments while you're practicing this stuff and I'll give you some class setup soon. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the video. Hope you guys like the quality. Y'all know what it is. I'm giving you real life tips. This stuff works for me. I could show you guys gameplay. I could show you it actually working. You guys see it on the screen of it actually working. Guys, try these things out. Take these tips in. Take all the stuff I'm saying. Soak in all the knowledge. Improve. Let me know if you guys been improving. This is episode two. This is only the beginning of all the sauce I'm giving out. Taking all this knowledge. This has been episode two. Hope you guys did enjoy the quality once again. Episode three is going to be about map awareness and, and IQ basically in games. Learning how to navigate the map better, learning how to, to make better plays, make better decisions. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you want more Call of Duty content and tips, class setups, entertaining things, subscribe. You will not regret it. Turn on that bell for post notifications because my videos ain't been popping up. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like. If you thought any of this stuff was useful, in this video and the last video drop a like drop a like if you want episode three it's coming real soon thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video be easy Bye.